Hi! After watching the video, click the link in the description to download the program. Hi, my name is Chris Burns, and today in this short video I'll tell you a life-changing story about how I figured out how to easily create an automated supply of the freshest, high-quality clean water you've ever tasted for pennies on the dollar. I'm talking about a simple invention that can be used by any family around the world to make safe, clean, and cool drinking water out of thin air, even in the desert. Over the past year, over 11,000 people have also already successfully used the very same technique to get over tragic milestones such as hurricanes, snowstorms, or floods, based on technology that's already in use by the military from countries including Israel, India, the UK, and the US. Not only can it give up to 60 gallons of water per day to last through the centuries-long drought NASA is predicting is right around the corner, but it can ameliorate your utility bills all year long. I'm sure you're already intrigued and you want to know all about how this system works. Honestly, it's like nothing you've ever seen. And in a few minutes from now, you'll be outraged you put your family's life in the hands of FEMA, the government, and the greedy water corporations that make the cards these days. So you absolutely need to watch this short presentation today while it's still up. I don't know how much longer I'll have this free presentation online, so watch this right now, while you still can. Before we continue, let me tell you who I am and how it all started. As I mentioned before, my name is Chris Burns. I'm a 57-year-old farmer, and I live near Fresno City with my wife and two daughters. Folks who live here know that water shortages due to droughts in the area are somehow of an issue, and we've been fighting them for years. And we've never liked how our officials are handling the situation by introducing laws that force us to cut our usage or by raising the prices for something everybody should afford, like having a clean, non-disturbed water supply without restriction. However, we simply settled, thinking that's the economy or maybe it'll be better next year, month after month, struggling not to fall behind on bills. All that until the spring of 2014, May 16th, Wednesday, the absolute worst day of my life. We were entering our third year of drought, a recurring nightmare for those old enough to remember the prolonged dry period of 1987 and 1991 and the disaster of 1976 and 77, the previous record-setting drought. But this time, it was different. Without help from the heavens, 2014 will be the last year before my family will begin to go bankrupt. Due to the severe drought, I was forced to leave hundreds of acres unplanted because there is simply no water for my crops. Moreover, the State Water Project announced for the first time in its 54-year history that it would deliver no water and we would have to get by with water from other sources, such as the Colorado River, groundwater, and the little left in their reservoirs. And I was expecting zero allocation from the Federal Central Valley Project, which delivers waters to farmers through 500 miles of canals. However, I thought I was prepared. Solar electricity, solar hot water, and we even had our own well. Big mistake. Three years ago, our well totally dried out. I didn't really panic because I still had a 600-gallon water stockpile that I'd saved as an emergency reserve to last enough for my family while we dug a new well. A few nights after I submitted our permit application for our new well, I heard some noises coming from my backyard. I took my gun and hurried outside to see what happened, and what I saw made me freeze in my tracks. There were some men loading our water stockpile into their truck. They weren't looking to break into our house or searching for valuable stuff like gold, money, and electronics. They just wanted our water supply. And I was ready to shoot right then and there. Yet before I could even aim my gun, I felt the cold barrel of a rifle pressed upon the back of my head. There was nothing I could do. You can't imagine how I felt, not being able to protect my family. And then the next morning, when my little Joan came to me and said, Daddy, I'm thirsty, I immediately burst into tears. It was the most devastating moment of my life. I felt like my world collapsed. I felt powerless because there was nothing I could do to protect the ones I cared for most. It was the moment I realized I was at the end of my rope. 
I swore to myself I'd never put my wife and two daughters in a similar situation again. I don't want to sound preachy about it, but ask yourself, what happens if the drought continues? What are we going to turn into? Are there going to be killings over a sip of water? Humanity is already on the verge of dehumanization due to hard times that continue to weaken all of us. Listen, the drought so far left unchangeable consequences, and there are no signs that it would get better. Water is rapidly becoming the new oil, and people are starting to look at water much like a new gold rush. The situation has grown so dire that the U.S. Office of the Director of National Intelligence now ranks water scarcity as a major threat to national security alongside terrorism. This means that every year, competition for a clean, copious supply of water for drinking, cooking, bathing, and sustaining life intensifies. Sadly, the competitors include thieves, big corporations, and even our government. Yet, how did we get in this life-threatening situation? The first reason is that most of us take water completely for granted. We tend to think of water only as it's coming out of our tap in the morning when we're brushing our teeth or washing vegetables or whatever. But in fact, water is embedded in everything we use and buy and do throughout the day. Your morning shower takes 17 gallons of water and growing the coffee beans for your cup of joe took upwards of 34 gallons and it takes 13 gallons of water to generate one gallon of gas. Before lunch, you've used up thousands of gallons of water. This water, which often goes largely unseen, is called virtual water. What gets forgotten is that virtual water is as real as the water you drink. There's basically the same amount of fresh water on Earth as there always has been. But while the amount of fresh water on the planet has remained fairly consistent over time, the population has exploded, leaving the world's water resources in crisis. And on top of all of that, NASA and top universities have solid proof that a disastrous super drought is going to hit us hard. A decades-long mega drought that could make entire regions of the country nearly uninhabitable, just like it did before several times, as history tells us. Now, I can hear your BS radar going off, and I'm sure you're already thinking there's no way it could be true. Please, if you have ever lived with this confidence, stop right now. I'll explain why in a moment. History has shown us time and time again that things can go south in the blink of an eye. In the second half of the 13th century, a catastrophic worldwide drought caused the collapse of societies all over the globe. Cities and towns were literally abandoned. Native Americans called the Anasazi suddenly disappeared from their homes at Mesa Verde on the Colorado Plateau during this extreme drought. And here's the bad part. History has a not-so-funny way of repeating itself, and those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat it. Thanks to satellites launched by NASA, we can now understand more accurately and measure this developing invisible crisis, revealing how supplies are shrinking rapidly, not just in the U.S., all over the American continent. Lake Mead, the largest reservoir in the U.S., is now the lowest that it has ever been since the Hoover Dam was finished in the 1930s. We're pumping irreplaceable groundwater to counter the drought. But this is just the beginning. Groundwater comes from aquifers, sponge-like gravel and sand-filled underground reservoirs. We rely on this hidden and shrinking water supply to meet our needs but these aquifers cannot recharge, and once this fossil water is gone, it is gone forever. And then the real crisis begins. Look at Lake Powell, the United States' second largest reservoir, had fallen to dangerously low levels. Just imagine what will happen if the drought keeps getting worse. It will be down for the count, and sadly, there will be no water left to splash on our face to help recover. The entire American continent is already on the ropes. We're turning back into a desert. The Colorado River Basin, which supplies water to 40 million people in seven states, is losing water at dramatic rates, a shocking 65 cubic kilometers, or roughly the equivalent of two full lake meads, and it no longer even reaches the ocean. A recent Kansas State University study said that if farmers in Kansas keep irrigating at present rates, 69% of the Ogallala Aquifer will be gone in a blink, and a major crisis in the years ahead is virtually guaranteed. 
When the Dust Bowl overtook the Great Plains in the 1930s, the Ogallala hadn't been yet discovered, and the results were devastating. Death, famine, and for the most fortunate, relocation. We all heard about these recent tragedies. Fourteen of the world's 20 megacities are now experiencing water scarcity or severe drought conditions. And just a few years ago, the 2011 Texas drought was raging at full throttle and we saw emaciated longhorns, desiccated fields, and burning prairie grass. Stories of small towns literally running out of water made headlines. For years, we have been warned that Dust Bowl conditions would be returning to the country. And as this drought continues to stretch on, we can now see it slowly happening all around us. Most people don't realize that things are going to get worse than this. Much worse. The United States is on the verge of a national crisis that could mean the end of clean, cheap water. Hundreds of cities and towns are at risk of sudden and severe shortages, either because available water is not safe to drink or because there simply isn't enough of it. All these will trigger wars all over the American continent. War and drought are the two words forever associated, and it already happened before. Recent reports of the consequences of droughts in Syria and Somalia indicate that these events have already contributed to armed conflict outbreaks or sustained conflicts in both countries. During these conflicts, over 290,000 people died. Scientists proved droughts and other severe weather events are increasing the risk of wars breaking out across the world, as one in four conflicts coincided with climatic calamities. What are we going to do once all the water is gone? Well, I immediately began researching every single alternative I could find. I considered drilling a new well, and I looked pretty much into this option. However, I found out that well drillers are working overtime, and farmers and homeowners short of water now must wait in line more than a year for their new wells. Moreover, wells that used to strike water at 500 feet deep must now be drilled down 1,000 feet or more at a cost of more than $300,000 for a single well. Money I just haven't got lying around. And according to scientists, they will all dry out eventually. Next, I considered filtering water. But maybe you heard that we have a major toxic chemicals in water problem. And we've been drinking, bathing in, and cooking with water containing unsafe levels of chemicals such as arsenic and fluoride for months. So the idea of filtering water is becoming an impossible mission. So I had only one option. If I wanted to make sure my family never goes through such an experience again, I had to create my own solution. It had to be something cheap and fast and easy to build because I definitely didn't have any technical skills to build complicated stuff. Being a farmer doesn't really offer those kinds of skills. So I started looking into every other solution that could bring me the security for my family. Many sleepless nights passed and I was getting tired of surfing the internet for a simple solution. Yet one day, Liz, my wife, reminded me about my uncle Philip and his research in the military sector. On top of that, his life goal was to save the planet and offer our children a better life. As a professional researcher, he had all the resources he needed to do it. And setting his goal to help humankind, as he said, he dedicated his life to discovering new technology. And he did thorough research. I remembered him telling me how when he was on the battlefield, Military troops in some of the toughest field conditions in the world were able to source drinking water out of thin air. That very moment, I realized the answer I was looking for was in front of my eyes. I later found out that the innovative system he told me about was invented by a brilliant professor as a portable water generator, which extracts water from the air. This device is being used with great success in the military sector by armed forces from seven countries, including the United States, India, France, and Mexico, to produce drinking water in conflict zones, in the hottest and driest of environments, mostly in the desert. The device is based on a simple condensation principle. It sucks in humid air and cools it down, much like an air conditioner, but a lot more efficient, and transforms it into drinkable water. That's the real secret. What you may not realize is just how efficient such a simple innovative system is, as it eliminates the need of buying expensive bottled water or going through the hassle of drilling a new well. The water is purified, and the unique system can produce up to 60 gallons of clean, fresh water a day, and you won't have to worry about all the nasty chemicals ever again. 
The fundamentals are so easy, and if properly applied, you can have a virtually unlimited water supply anywhere, even if you live in the desert. That was the solution to my problem. However, I found out that the technology to extract water from the air is not new, and some greedy corporations got their hands on it and are selling these devices to families for close to a small fortune. So while this option was off the table, I knew there had to be a solution out there. And that's when I decided to pay a visit to my uncle. He saw the device with his own eyes, after all. Without wasting a second, I took some time off and told my wife and daughters I was going to visit their uncle. I kissed them goodbye and I swore to myself I wouldn't come back without the solution. I went to Macon, Georgia and talked with my uncle. I told him my story and asked if he could help me, begging him to show me his research on this device. He agreed, and as he explained to me what it was all about in very little detail, I got very disappointed because everything sounded too hard for me. I had no technical knowledge whatsoever. I said, Uncle Philip, stop. I know you have some technical knowledge and it is easy for you to understand what's in there, but is there any way to make this simple so anyone can do it? Being an enthusiast in the field, he agreed. However, I insisted to set some basic rules. The device had to be incredibly cheap to build. I was already over my budget with the research, the trip, and everything. It had to be very easy to build, so that I could explain it to my wife and kids to build it if, God forbid, something were to happen to me. So we started working on the project together. The first models we made were either too expensive or too complicated for me to build. We had some heated arguments, mainly because of me being stubborn. I needed the device to be cheap and simple. In the end, after several attempts, we finally came up with a prototype that seemed to be what we were looking for. The design was brilliant, and we managed to build it with $206 worth of materials from Home Depot. However, I'm sure we could have found the parts at a junkyard for free if we weren't in a rush. But the most important part is that it was incredibly simple to put together. You simply had to place the components in the correct position, and because of the ingenious way the device was designed, it gave us up to 20 gallons of the purest water per day. Plus, the quality of this water is far better than drinking regulations. Even more, the system was actually incredibly easy to use, even if you were terrible at building stuff and have trouble plugging in a DVD player to your TV. The next step was to test it out and see if it really worked as well as we thought it would. So we started the device and I stood watching in complete amazement. The system reached optimum performance because of the brilliant design Uncle Philip had come up with. It was providing a steady, robust supply of fresh, pure water on demand. I could hardly contain my excitement of what we accomplished, of not just having all the healthy, pure water we could drink, but also the water insurance this would give us should disaster hit. In truth, I almost couldn't believe how simple all of this was. Missing my family, I rushed home with the plans. I started building the device from scratch, following the steps and using most of the stuff I had lying around in my backyard. And after about one hour, I built the device and put it to work. It ran perfectly. I mean, with just a few cents per hour to keep it up, me and my family was having a virtually non-stop supply of fresh water day in and day out. That's probably less than half you pay on your monthly utility bill. All it had taken me was about one hour of my time and about 200 bucks in initial costs and my family was safe and independent. I love the fact that I was teaching my daughters such a great lesson about not being dependent on the government or any corporations, and I felt so relieved to know that they would always grow up in a warm, safe, and comfortable home. Well, before long, my friends and family members were begging to know my secret, and when I showed them the simple, portable water generator I'd created, a lot of them had a hard time believing something so small could be creating water on demand. But after I'd given them the simple building instructions that I'd come up with, and they'd followed them and created their own endless water supply in about the time it takes to assemble an IKEA chair, they became believers fast. And the results were the same over and over, an abundance of clean, fresh water for their family. They loved knowing they would never have to rely on anyone or anything for their number one need in life, even if a disaster turned the outside world upside down. Soon my friends were telling their friends about my little miniature home oasis, until finally the number of phone calls and emails from people asking me to share the blueprints with them became so overwhelming, my wife put her foot down and told me that I had to find a better way to share this life-saving knowledge with the world. So, 
I went to work, writing out the blueprints, the materials list, and a follow-along guide showing the construction process in simple steps. And that's how the water freedom system was born. It's the only proven, exclusive, step-by-step -step guide showing you exactly how to create your own home oasis today and how to survive any tough, century-long drought. As you already know, this system was specifically created so that anyone with one hand can do it. As long as you understand how to turn a screwdriver, play a video, and can somewhat speak English, you can set up this system no problem. In fact, you'll be shocked by how few steps there actually are and how short the list of materials you need to build this is. You'll see exactly what those steps are, along with a full materials list that will help you build the system from start to finish. Even though it wasn't cheap for me to conceive this system, I put a lot of time, money, and effort into it, I think it's extremely valuable. We wrote and recorded these easy step-by-step, take-you-by-the-hand instructions so you can provide clean, fresh water for your family, no matter the scenario. And you can download the files to your computer, tablet, or smartphone. Just look at what you'll receive today inside the Water Freedom System. How this simple method can pull moisture out of thin air, filter it, and turn it into an unlimited supply of pure drinking water with the press of a button. You'll discover just how incredibly easy it is to put together for less than $200 in total costs and in under one hour of your time. Not only will you have an automated supply of the freshest, cleanest water you've ever tasted for pennies on the dollar, yet this will become liquid gold in the middle of any disaster situation. What's more, because the water freedom system is very light and portable, it makes for one of the best emergency water sources you could ever hope for. Enjoy the sense of security that comes with having gallons of purified water on demand, even in an emergency. And forget about the worry of storage space. And best of all, it generates free water day in and day out. So you can slash your water bill by 30%, 60%, even 90% and save thousands each year. That's just a glimpse of what the Water Freedom System will do for you. To date, more than 11,000 families have used this exact same system to permanently ditch their water suppliers. So with all of that being said, I want you to pause and think about this for a second. How good will it feel to never have to worry every time you pour yourself a glass of water? To never have to feel the stress of not knowing what hidden chemicals you and your family drink, bathe, or cook with? To never care about how much you spend on water, no matter how much the prices go through the roof, and knowing you'll never have to send a single dime to companies that could care less about your family's safety? How happy are you going to be when you join the ranks of the 11,000 other freedom fighters who have already decided that they are fed up with being dependent on others for the safety of their families? In just one hour from now, you can have the only endless water supply you'll ever need and the power to survive and thrive through any disaster. And you'll save thousands of dollars each month and thousands each year. This is my promise to you. If you use the over-the-shoulder guides, the step-by-step -step blueprints, the illustrated instructions, and the materials cheat sheet I'm giving you, you will create a device that will deliver an abundance of clean, fresh water, no matter if you live in the desert or any dry zone. And given all of that, how much is it worth to you to literally have an unlimited water supply for your family? Well, first of all, let me just be clear about it. There is no system like this available anywhere in the world. The water freedom system is the sum of considerable expertise in this field and the contribution of a brilliant engineer. And beyond all the technical innovations that have gone into making this simple and easy to use system, you also need to understand that this is about more than just water. It's about keeping your family safe. The reason I'm so passionate about getting the water freedom system into your hands is that I never want you to go through what I went through. And I want to give you the opportunity today to make sure that your home is filled with warmth and love. Especially when you can do it all without ever having to send another dime to the same corporations who are getting rich off your family's financial struggles. Ultimately, this is about taking action today. Click the link in the description to download the program.